That's why the guide training course is so intensive. Paul and Farai's stint with Troy is coming to an end. They're packing up to return to Rukomachi, the safari camp where they are based. They'll be using their newfound skills to guide real tourists, but only in vehicles at this stage. They're not yet ready for the ultimate responsibility, guiding visitors on foot to see the Big Five. The standards are extremely high and there are no shortcuts. With people like Troy examining potential new guides, only the very best will qualify. Buffalo and lion, elephant and rhino. We've seen four of the big five, and here's the last, the leopard. It's a final chance for Troy to pass his knowledge and expertise on to Paul and Farai. Here she comes, look at it, she's totally relaxed. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. Do you think she's worried about us, Paul? I don't think she's worried, I think she just wants to move, eh? Yeah. It's time. It's time, it's that time. Just look how that camouflage works. She's only seven or eight yards away, there she goes. Paul and Farai's training still has some way to go. But if all goes well, they hope to take their Zimbabwe Safari Guides license after one more year. Who knows? If you go on safari in Zimbabwe, it could be your life in their hands. He's going to flap his ears and then kick sand. Just keep an eye on him. Mm, good attitude, that guy. 